We start tonight with the future of the gifted intelligence program in New York City schools. Mayor de Blasio plans to overhaul the, pro the program, saying it exacerbates segregation. But with the mayor leaving office in less than three months, the future of the program really lies with whomever replaces him. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with the story. Marsha? Well, the mayor calls his plan Brilliant NYC, but his attempt to tackle inequality in public schools with less than three months to go in his term might just as well have been called Unlikely and Improbable NYC, possibly DOA NYC, because his idea is receiving an unenthusiastic response in many quarters. Expand GNT! Expand GNT! Angry parents, elected officials, and education activists protested outside the Department of Education, slamming the very late-in-the-game attempt by Mayor de Blasio to revamp the city's gifted and talented education program. I'm an immigrant. I'm an African immigrant. And like all children of immigrants, my family came to this country to ensure, ensure that I have equal access to a high there was also a protest on Staten Island. Bill de Blasio is taking the grenade, pulling the pin, and throwing it inside of our school buildings and walking out the door and retiring. Just a sampling of the voices raised as Mayor de Blasio held a press conference with school's Chancellor Misha Porter to tout the plan that would cancel the admissions test for four-year-olds and replace it with enrichment for advanced students who will no longer be in separate classrooms. In third grade, all students would be screened, and if they are ahead, would get access to additional programming. I don't believe a single standardized test should determine anyone's future at any age, but certainly not at the age of four. The problem for de Blasio is that implementing the plan would be left to the person who inherits the job on January 1st. And neither Republican Curtis Slewa nor Democrat Eric Adams supports it. I would expand gifted and talented. You just need more slots, more opportunities for gifted and talented. The mayor has delivered this October surprise and caused tremendous duress to families and children. I'm going to reserve my right to look at the mayor's plan, look through it, but to look at and roll out my plan that is going to be an expansion of Celebrate Delivery. Would your plan um, get rid of the gifted and talented program the way the mayors would? Uh, uh, I don't believe uh, what he did speaks for me. I'm going to look at the best way to do it. I'm going to sit down with parents, advocates, advocates, teachers, and sit down and um, really put in place of something that I talked about for years, expansion. Well, many are worried that the mayor's plan would be a further impetus for middle-class families to leave New York City. Adams said that fear of middle-class flight would not be a driving factor for him. His goal is to offer more accelerated programs plus special programs for kids who learn differently. Dana. Thank you for uh, letting us hear from both candidates in this story that we'll continue to watch. Marsha, thanks.